Hi, I'm Del Cooper. Have you ever thought about making your own comic book? Sure, we all have. Join us as we explore our creative sides and share the secrets of making your very own comic. Part 1. Making preliminary Begin sketch. by sketching your character ideas. Comic book characters are completely defined by the way they look. Practice drawing the characters and locations in your story. The pros call these model sheets. Practice drawing different facial expressions and situations Posh for each character. This will also help you to develop your character's facial traits. Since comic books are full of action, you will also need to draw each character in various action poses. Part 2. Developing the characters. Flesh out your key characters. Developing your character's backstory and personality is crucial in making a good comic book. It's also important for you to have a good sense of your character's background. This will make their behavior seem realistic and organic. Next, you'll want to develop your antagonist. While it's great to have a well-developed nemesis, you don't want to go overboard on details. Over-explaining the antagonist can take away from his intrigue. Next, you'll want to make sure your characters look distinct from one another. You don't want your reader confusing your hero and his arch nemesis. For example, if your protagonist has short blonde hair, make his rival have long black hair. <clears throat> Likewise, try matching your character's attire to their personality type. If this is your first story, don't add too many characters. A common beginner's mistake is to add too many subplots that distract from the main storyline. This can also cause your reader to lose interest. Part 2. Developing your characters. Flesh out your key characters. Developing your character's backstory and personality is crucial in making a good comic book. It's also important for you to have a good sense of your character's background. This will make their behavior seem realistic and organic. Next, you will want to develop your antagonist. While it's great to have a well-developed nemesis, you don't want to go overboard on the details. Over-explaining the antagonist can take away from his intrigue. Next, you will want to be sure to make your characters look distinct from one another. You don't want your reader confusing your hero with his arch nemesis. For example, if your protagonist has short blonde hair, make his rival have long black hair. Likewise, try matching your character's attire to their personality type. If this is your first story, don't add too many characters. A common beginner's mistake is to add too many subplots that distract from the main storyline. This can also cause your reader to lose in Part 4. Completing your comic book. During these final steps, we will begin by creating thumbnails of our story panels. By writing out a timeline of your story so that you can number each step or event in the storyline. Now, make thumbnail drawings based on how you've distributed your events. Keep in mind that the thumbnails are just small sketchy versions of each panel. Use your thumbnails for your plot breakdown. Decide how much of the story you will tell on each page and e each panel. Think about how to compose each panel and how to make your point to the reader. Cut out the good panels, compile these in order, toss out the rejects, and make additional panels if necessary. Draw the panel borders for your final pages. Use your final thumbnails as a guide. Here, you can make your thumbnails larger or smaller, depending on the book's spatial requirements. This is where you'll be making all of your last minute decisions. Lightly, write in the lettering. You may be tempted to start drawing first, but you have to make sure there's enough room for your text boxes. Don't forget, the readers will naturally read from the top left-hand side first. Sketch in the drawings. Make sure that everything in the panel is clear and works the way you want it to. Work light. Any pencil lines that overlap your ink work will show in the final comic pages. Here, you'll want to add in all of the final details to the characters and backgrounds. Ink your final pages. Remember that everything you do here is final, so you may want to consider 
handing your pages off to someone else to be inked. There are a variety of ink types that you can find online. Set your type or ink your letters in. Lettering is extremely important as it tells half of your story. If you feel uncomfortable with hand lettering, consider using a word processor or printing out the lettering instead. Find a title for your story. If you don't already have one in mind, start out by writing as many words that relate to your story as possible. Try various combinations of these words until you find one that you like. We finally reached the last step. You can now decide whether or not you'd like to try to publish your comic. There are many ways to self-publish online, or you can try turning it into a publisher at your next local Comic-Con. In conclusion, you now have the basic fundamental ingredients necessary to bringing your ideas to life. We hope this tutorial has been helpful to you as a future comic book creator. This has been Dale Cooper, and we'll see you at the next Comic-Con.